All right, welcome back. And today I am so thrilled, blessed, honored to introduce to you a woman who I guess we stumbled over each other on the internet some time ago and we've become mutual fans of each other's work and each other's being. And oh my gosh, without further ado, Heather Joy Bassett from all the way in beautiful Australia. Thank you so much for being here with me today. Oh, my absolute, uh, my absolute pleasure to be here. I'm delighted. I'm actually delighted to be here. Uh, I, every, time, every time we connect, I feel delighted. So I just wanted to share that with you. <laughs> now tell me, it's something that I ask multiple times in the book. People are going to think I'm completely obsessed with it. Those people who do know me know that this is my number one question I always ask. Every one of my clients gets it the minute they get on the phone with me. Heather, what are you celebrating today? Oh, I'm celebrating actually having a voice. And oh, I've, got, I've got goosebumps doing that. I felt for a long time I didn't have a voice. It was just locked in my head and, and never actually got to come out. And being part of this book is um, another level of, of me having, having a voice that is beyond my head. So that's really, um, that's really exciting. Oh, gosh. And thank you for sharing that beautiful voice as one of our official unapologetic influencers. The book does launch on August 22nd, August 23rd in your land. August yes. 22nd, you can pre-order right now. It comes with over $14,000 in bonuses. We're actually almost about to hit 15000 US. It's a big pot. Such an amazing community of people have come together. You can get your copies, of course, at beingunapologetic.com. I want to read a little excerpt of what your contribution was in the book and then um, announce your identity. Cool. So Heather says, um, even after years of therapy and personal and professional development, I was not speaking my truth. I was silent and burdened. My quality of life was poor and it was affecting everyone and everything in my life. It wasn't pretty. Then I began an extraordinary exploration of who I am and why I was living as I was. It is my honor to introduce to the world our unapologetic influencer, Heather Joy Bassett, who is unburdened. <laughs> <laughs> so such wow. a great word. And every time, I got to tell you, every time I read these excerpts, I get goosebumps because everyone poured their love and you certainly poured so much love into what you, what you brought to us in, in your feature. So tell us, what does unburdened mean to you? What's the truth? Mm. Listening to you read that, like so many feelings have come up, tears are about to flow. Um, so my life was so, I was so heavy and so stuck. And again, I'd been talking to therapists for forever. And it felt like forever. It was nearly, it was nearly 20 years. Mm. I, I wasn't speaking my truth. There were things that were happening and I was trying to protect people. Mm. I felt like I was protecting other people. So I wasn't speaking about that. And just it, the burden was just weighing me down incredibly. And so there was this one moment where I said something and someone gave me some feedback that I was being bullied. And it just, it opened everything for me. And then I went and shared with some people about, about that to my, to my loved ones. And it was the most free and liberated and joyous, even though I was talking about something that had deeply impacted my life. I can be downstairs talking to my mum and dad because that's who I revealed this to. Mm. And... It was just the most extraordinary moment to to actually speak about something that I'd mm. just hidden and looped around. So it was just amazing, absolutely amazing. So obviously, it is. Truly, not was it um, is. <laughs> yeah, it is amazing. Yeah, you you've truly become um, you've owned the label the 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 commitment of being an ambassador for being unburdened and expressing that in all of your being and all of what you do. So it's so funny because the word unwords are so strong and that's why I feel so blessed to have sort of stumbled onto it 
with my own branding and my own sort of development of who I am being unapologetic myself. What, for those people who feel any burden of any kind, whether it be in their work or personal life or whatever that is, what, what are the steps that you've sort of discovered in your own journey to be becoming unburdened? How do you approach starting to unburden yourself? Mm. It's a, it's a beautiful question. And the, the first thing to really look at is, are you safe? Because before we unburden things, you've really got to be discerning and are you safe where, you, where you're going to unburden? And because one of, one of, one of my friends said, I wouldn't unburden myself in a pub with a bunch of people who are really drunk. Mm. And so one of the things is, is to be mindful of, am I safe? So where I'm going to unburden. And then the big thing is to stop and actually listen to what's going on in your head and not shove it away and pretend it's not there and just you know, go on pretending life. It's like to actually stop and go, what are the thoughts that I'm having? what am I feeling? Mm. And from that space, then, then speak it, then actually speak it. And first it may be speak it out loud to yourself because often it's just silenced away and it's speak it out loud to myself. I'm feeling because, and then speak it to someone, speak it to someone else. And the words that I spoke were to a doctor that I, that I'd been seeing for years and I just shared a really small snippet of something that was going on. And then he gave me some feedback. So when we can, when we can speak things out loud to someone, we'll be given another perspective, which just then opens things instead of that stuck closed in, we just start to open. Um, and from that space, then we can speak more and more. And there's a, it's interesting because history, there's two things. There's like, we're told that speak your truth will set you free. Mm. But then from children, we're told not to speak out our truth. Mm. And Hippocrates mm. said, the man who speaks his truth is the most hated man. So there's this, all this conflict about actually speaking your truth. And so for me, once I speak my truth, I'll speak my truth. And then I have a beautiful young daughter who will hit me with something else and go, nye, nye, nye. and I'm like, oh, and my truth changes. You're right. So then what, what is my truth actually changes. And then that unburdens me significantly and dramatically. So it's almost like a continually thing of just shedding the layers and shedding some more and shedding some more. What has been so beautiful for me to experience in, in the time that we've known each other simply online is how committed you are to, to the work and to unburdening yourself. And what's so beautiful is how, how well it connects. And you really talk about this in, in your section too of how it really does connect to being unapologetic. Absolutely. And you are, you're out there. You're my hero often because I see you doing these things, singing on the street and talking to people and, and just going for it and cheering. And like you just said, sometimes even just saying something out loud to yourself is yeah. so transformational. Mm. Yeah. yeah, I I unapologize. I I recognize if I'm being apologetic, mm -hmm. so which gives me the opportunity to be unapologetic. And then what I do, and I get goosebumps now. That I'm in so many groups where people are apologizing energetically. They're apologizing as they walk in the door, apologizing mm -hmm. for taking up space. Mm. And I get it because I recognize it because that's what I was doing in, in every area of my life, even in my own business. I was almost apologizing for, for having a business, apologizing for being the boss. It was like at so many levels, I was apologizing. And so especially since you brought Unapologetic into my life, like it's such a dramatic shift to recognize oh, where is that? Where am I doing that? And then to help other people and, again, to pick that, to pick that moment to invite other people to be and, and share that they're not being that and invite them to be that. And, again, I'm, I'm passionate about the same as you, people being able to take up their space and be unapologetically mm -hmm. 
me, unapologetically you. And it's, it's a powerful movement, which is why I'm delighted to be part of it. Thank you. Yeah, it's so interesting. Someone said to me earlier today, actually, it was very interesting. They said, you know, I had a little bit of a hard time as we're assembling our international launch team, a hard time picking the, an unword because there are so many that are negative. But then I stumbled onto these few and I said, well, there it is right there. You see, I know that a lot of unwords are negative and then there's these gems and now there's over 30 of them that I use. Uh, there's 18 unapologetic influencers, over 30 that I use in my brand platform and they're so powerful and they just, they, you feel it. You know, being unapologetic, uh, someone who endorsed a book says, you know, it, this is not just a book. This is a movement. And you said it too. Yeah. And, and uh, just talk a little bit about that. What does being unapologetic mean to you, you know, uh, in your everyday life? How does it guide you? Mm, that's interesting because as you're talking about the movement, like I'm just getting goosebumps all, all the time. And how I recognize that, when I'm being when I'm being apologetic, I'm stuck. Mm. I'm I'm stuck. I'm not speaking my truth, and speaking my truth is is that's that's my desire because if we all spoke our truth, if we created a space where we could speak our truth, then we would never lose another friend to suicide because people would say, "I don't feel safe." And then we could go, I got you. I got you until you got you. We've got you. And when people are saying, I can't continue like this, we go, you're right, you can't. You can't. What is it you need? How can we help you? What can we bring on, on board? Mm -hmm. So where, wherever someone's at, their truth is how they're feeling. Mm -hmm. And so when we, when we bring that, when I acknowledge how I'm feeling, I'm feeling scared. I'm feeling sad, I'm feeling angry. When we acknowledge that, then there's no apology for it. It's like, mm -hmm. this is what I'm feeling. Right. It's not about you. No. So I'm feeling and then and not apologizing for that. And again, we're taught to not be sad, don't be angry, don't upset anyone. We're taught all of this stuff from kid right through, which is really confusing. And to, to stand in unapologetically. I'm angry, I'm sad, I'm scared, whatever it is, take it. I'm joyful, because even don't be too joyful, you know, you don't want to be, especially in Australia, the tall poppy stuff, Right. Or don't, be, don't be too big and don't be too bold. And then it's like, no, this is, this, is, this is who I am in whatever it is. To be unapologetic in that also gives everyone in your field permission to be the same. Yeah. Yeah. I talk about that all the time. And that's exactly why, you know, on the cover of the book is this image, which I want people to see themselves as, you know, to be mm -hmm. celebrating in the confetti of life, yeah. to be celebrating in the standing <laughs> ovations of life. As I say, you know, you arrived on this planet with a standing ovation and you deserve it on the exit of this planet. Yeah. You know, and thank you, by the way, also for acknowledging, you know, the whole idea that, you know, we're entering an age where we don't need to lose another friend, another kid, another anybody, because they aren't feeling great about themselves. And that's part of the, the giving project on the back end of the book. Specifically for me, it was the performing arts that saved my life because I almost did take my life in high school and performing arts saved my life. And so part of the proceeds of the book goes towards um, helping performing arts programs, students and teachers to also feel empowered as influential speakers and influential leaders. So thank yeah. you for, for bringing that up. Yeah, and, I, and again, that was part of my sign up immediately was because we're putting, you're putting this part of the proceeds to, to help other people be unapologetic as well. And thank you, yeah. Yeah, that, that's a power, again, a powerful movement to create that. Thank you. So tell me, Heather, what are you most excited about these days? What are you working on that's exciting? Ah, that's, that's a beautiful thing because I've transitioned out of a career and a business of 35 years and mm. stepped away from that. And 
I want to bring a message which is similar to yours of spruth, which is S-P-R-U-T-H, which is spruth, which is speaking your truth with love and compassion. Mm -hmm. And I believe, I know that if we create a spruce culture where people can speak their truth, then the statistics about suicide can drop immediately around the world. So, so my aim is to go out there and touch literally millions of people. I want to speak about this stuff on a worldwide, worldwide scale about how we, can, how we can keep people safe and let people fully express who they are through Spruth. I love it. That's, I love it. Spruth. I love that. So good. So uh, when people purchase the hardcover and the ebook on August 22nd or 23rd, uh, they also unlock all of these incredible bonuses. And you are also offering something special for those people who do that. Tell us a little bit about what you're offering. I am, and I'm really excited. What I want to have is a conversation like this. So we're going to have a live chat where people will be able to ask me whatever it is they want to ask me. So I actually wrote a book, my own book Earl, that was published earlier this year called A Cosmically Juicy Life. And in there, I talk about the things people don't talk about. So I'm happy to speak about, at this stage, I'd say anything that people want to, want to ask me about unburdening, whatever relationship it is, whether it's family, whether it's lover, whether it's work at whatever level that they're feeling stuck with, that they feel they can't speak their truth, that they're, being unapologetic, they're, they're not being unapologetic, then I'm happy to, to, share, to share my wisdom and, and my way of how I work through. Because I've worked through many, every area of my life of being, of being unapologetic. So I really want to have that opportunity to interact with. I love that. I just want to highlight, this is not a program. This is not, I mean, this is what, this is direct access in a small group call that you'll get to just spend some time, just like I get to spend some time with you right now. Um, yeah. And just to talk about these things and, and to, to really start to take that step towards unburdening yourself and yes. living your true unapologetic self. And but you and I both know when you do take that step, sometimes it's scary, but oh my gosh, what becomes unleashed is, it's amazing, extraordinary. It is. And the, the thing, again, goosebumps going through me now, one of, the, one of the most interesting things for me is that thinking that if we speak our truth, that, that it's going to cause problems it shifts so many things like and the people that i thought i was protecting they were receiving my they were receiving the negatives the negatives that i didn't even know were going on because i wasn't mm. speaking my truth mm. so when i spoke my truth it didn't liberate just me mm -hmm. it didn't unburden just me it unburdened everyone around me everyone yeah. So the ripples are ex the ripples are extraordinary. So whatever that thing is that you're not speaking, mm -hmm. my invitation is again speak it out loud to yourself. But first you've got to stop a moment and go, what is that thing that's looping around my head that I'm walking around on eggshells that I'm living a lie about? What is that? Speak it out loud just to yourself. Speak it into the mirror. Speak it to someone where you're where you're safe. Mm -hmm. And the ripples are going to start that unburdened, unapologetic is it, it will start immediately. It's extraordinary. I love it. Oh my God. Beautiful parting words. Again, the book is available right now, being unapologetic.com. Get the hardcover. It goes to a good cause. You're going to meet amazing, extraordinary, beautifully juicy individuals, just like Heather Joy Bassett here. And um, Heather, again, thank you so much for being part of this big vision that I have. We've only just begun, right? We know that. Yeah, we're going to be on a stage together one day with the confetti blowing by both of us, inspiring, oh. unburdening so many millions of people. And I can't wait. Yeah. Thank you again for being part of this journey. Yeah, my absolute pleasure. Thank you. 
All right, everyone, we'll see you soon. Thank you so much Bye. for joining us.